Given the fact that the majority of the ocean depths remain uncharted, there exist probably tens of thousands of unique species of animals which we have yet to discover. Two of such animals, both of which have remained stuffs of legends for centuries, are the sperm whale and the giant squid. Several things about them are shrouded in mystery. For example, scientists are still in disagreement over the exact function or functions of spermaceti, a fluid from which the sperm whale got its distinctive name. The giant squid is even more mysterious and rarer still. All that was known about this gigantic squid was based on observations of carcasses which occasionally wash ashore or remnants often found in the sperm whale's stomach. It is so rare that the first photograph of a live giant squid was not taken until 2004 and a video footage until 2006, both in Japan. Given how rare these two gigantic animals are, a fight between a sperm whale and a giant squid has never been witnessed by anyone, but in this video, we will pitch these two against one another and see who wins. The giant squid and the sperm whale are both deep sea dwellers. Both can be found in all of our continental waters. The giant squid prefers living around continental shelf slopes and island slopes. It is often found in the North Atlantic Ocean close to Norway and in South Atlantic Ocean near South Africa. New Zealand and the islands of Japan are other places it has been seen. Like giant squids, sperm whales also prefer tropical and subtropical waters, diving deep to depths of up to 3,300 feet, about 1,000 meters, where it often encounters the giant squid. Both the sperm whale and giant squid are giants in their respective domains. While female sperm whales are large, males are even larger and sometimes weigh twice as much as a female. Sperm whales generally have a length which measures between 50 and 60 feet, about 15 to 18 meters. They also weigh between 30,000 to 40,000 kilograms, about 70,000 to 90,000 pounds. The female giant squid is visibly larger in size than the males. The size of the giant squid varies. Different sources give different lengths. It is also important to note that the two long feeding tentacles take a huge chunk of the body length. On average, giant squids measure approximately 33 feet or 10 meters and weigh about 400 pounds. That's about 180 kilograms. Some sources claim that the largest giant squid ever recorded was 43 feet or 13 meters in length. However, other sources claim that the largest ever recorded giant squid, which washed ashore in 1887 in New Zealand, measured apparently 59 feet or 18 meters and weighed almost one ton. But it's still debatable if these estimates are correct. Anyway, if measured on the basis of size and mass, the sperm whale would win. With both the giant squid and the sperm whale living in such an inhospitable environment, one would wonder what kinds of prey they get to feed on. And is there a possibility that they both feed on similar prey? This question is essentially important since it has been observed that food is often a major cause of strife between two different species who feed on the same prey and hunting ground. It is believed that giant squid often feed on deep sea fishes, shrimps, possibly small whales and other squids. While the sperm whale feeds on deep sea fishes, however, its most preferred prey is the giant squid, which makes up two-thirds of its daily meal. This is therefore a classic example of the eater getting eaten. Sperm whales consume almost a ton or about 2,000 pounds of food a day. From these statistics alone, you can already guess which would often win if there is a showdown between the two species. From what little we know about the elusive giant squid, it has only one ascertained predator and that is the sperm whale. When you grow that big and armed with several teeth-lined suction cups, few are the predators that would dare consider you a delectable delicacy. They accept the sperm whale. 
The sperm whale pays a heavy price for choosing the giant squid as its favorite meal. We'll get to that later in this video. If the sperm whale is the predator of the giant squid, which animal is the natural predator of the sperm whale? Orcas are the main natural predators of sperm whales, though they are known to sometimes be hunted by false killer whales and pilot whales. There is yet another apex predator that hunts both species, and that is none other than humans. Another parameter by which we will compare these two apex predators is their level of intelligence. While it is rare catching a live giant squid or sperm whale for a study of their brain power, we can, however, look at close cousins. Squids are known to display an impressive level of intelligence, which can be seen in how they sometimes eject dark ink to obfuscate predators, and even emit light to communicate with one another. With the giant squid possessing a bigger brain than every other known squid except the colossal squid, we can infer that it is an intelligent animal, although a bigger brain may not necessarily mean higher intelligence. The intelligence of the sperm whale can also be inferred from its cousins, all of which belong to the cetacean family, including dolphins, whales, and porpoises. We are all familiar with the incredible intelligence of dolphins. They possess a level of self-awareness as they recognize themselves in mirrors, and even the military trains and uses them in detecting landmines in the sea. With the sperm whale having a much bigger brain, the biggest brain of all existing mammals, we can definitely say that it is a very intelligent animal. Its brain size is five times larger than a human's. On occasions when the giant squid and sperm whale meet, all of these sighted factors come into play. So also is the arsenal and hunting strategy of both species. The giant squid is agile and a good swimmer, but so also is the sperm whale, which can attain speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. That's about 25 miles per hour. The giant squid has basketball-sized eyes, which measure 30 centimeters, or about 12 inches across in diameter. This helps the squid see its mortal enemy, the sperm whale, from as far as 400 feet, or 120 meters away, despite the perpetual darkness of the ocean's depth. Knowing this, the sperm whale has also evolved the ingenious use of precise echolocation, such that it can pinpoint the location and size of the giant squid accurately. Sperm whales have an enlarged auditory system. Thanks to the fact that sound travels four times faster in water than on land, the whales get immediate and accurate feedback on their prey. A final factor is the attack or defense arsenal of both animals. Giant squids have strong jaws shaped like a parrot's beak and two long tentacles which have four rows of teeth-lined, powerful suction cups. These suction cups are responsible for the round incisions often found on the skin of the sperm whale. The sperm whale packs a more impressive set of teeth. The lower jaw houses about 36 to 50 teeth, with each tooth weighing about 2 pounds, a bit less than 1 kilogram, and measuring about 18 to 20 centimeters, 7 to 8 inches long. The sperm whale has a fatal bite, which giant squids would rarely survive. So, who would win? The sperm whale wins whenever there is a battle with a giant squid, which happens frequently since giant squids are its favorite prey. But giant squids rarely go down without leaving behind large, round battle scars by which the sperm whale can always remember it by. But what do you think? Share your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell icon.